that's clearly law. Human women could not say that. What does it imply? So what are you talking about? Now, what are you saying there? If I may answer that question. When they're talking about God, there are different contexts. They're talking about God the Father, and there's something called the nature of God. So, in the nature of God, there's three persons. No, no, my used to give you the Holy Spirit. Spanish, right? the person of Jesus Christ, there's two natures. There's nature of God, there's nature of the Lord. Easy if you study it. No, and I'm saying they talk about God. So, where is this in the Bible? The nature of God? God. Where is this? The nature of God, or God manifests as three persons. Where is that in the Bible? You wanted an answer, did you not? No, I want an answer to the particular question. What is my question? Who is the head of Who is the head of Jesus Christ? Now, I answered your question right now. You said, what does that mean? And I told you when they refer to God, they're not referring to a single person. They're referring to no, no. the who nature is, of God. Who is the head of Jesus Christ? You just asked that question already. No, you to me now. No, no. It's a very simple question. You, you already answered that. No, you haven't. You already answered that. Who? You, you have a very simple I have, I have answered the question. You have a very simple question. You've already asked your question, and I answered your question. No, you did not, because... The question I asked was, who is the boss of Jesus Christ? Christ? That was my question. No and what was your answer? Christ. There's no boss of Jesus Really? So what does head mean? No boss of Jesus Christ. What does head mean? No, okay, who's, no the boss, angel, who's the boss of your head and your shoulders? No, no, no. When who's I say the head, of your feet? I think you're getting messed up. When I say head of someone, the head of Christ, okay, okay. Who's, who's the head of the United States? Tell him about the knowledge. The president. That's different, that's head of state. Exactly. Now tell me this. No, no, wait. No, 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 tell me this. The words that I'm talking about, he's not talking about the literal you head. boss. No, no, you yeah, said yeah. boss. It is talking about the boss. there's a difference, right? There is, yes. Is there a difference between your head? Do you know which words I'm talking about? Okay. okay. Is, is there a difference between your head and your Has anyone got a Bible? Because this guy here... You're not, you're not answering my question. Answer my question. Yeah, but you're talking about a literal head. I'm not talking about a literal head. I'm not talking about a literal head. I'm talking about the authority. Follow me. Follow me for one second. Yeah, go on. Now I'm saying... Go on. You're saying there's a difference in authority if I say head. Bring up uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Please. There's a difference if I say head versus body. You're saying that's the head of Jesus Christ. That's what I'm talking about. That, that, that does not mean that he's higher than him. Just like your head does not mean it's higher than your feet. Because both of them have a function that's different from each other. So what in what terms is the head of Christ is God? What in what terms? Function. In function? Yes. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Not in authority. No. Okay. And so when so the same verse says the head of all men is Christ. Okay. What does that mean? Do you, do you know the original? Greek for that. Go, 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 go. Do you know it? No, you tell me. Do you know no, it? I don't. You tell me. Do you know it? Do you know it? That's, that's, do you know it? Do you know it? I told I said it already. Do you know it? Now I'm asking you. You're not answering I've answered you. Look, I don't know the Greek of it. Do you know the Greek answer of it? Answer my original question. Is no, no, but I've answered more, your question. Why did you answer my question? Look, look. I've answered your question if I don't know the Greek. You do you know the you Greek? You haven't it. Now you're going to a different place. No, I don't. Same place. The head of all men is Christ. Same verse, 1 Corinthians Read it. chapter 11, verse 3. Read it, God. The head of all Christ is. The head, the head of all about, Christ. Okay, you're talking about the head of God. Which one, which one? Hold on, it's the same verse, no, 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 bro. You said same verse, same verse. You said head of, you said head of Christ is yes, God, correct. Yes. Which verse? So, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Still the same, same verse. Head of God is Christ. What does that mean to you? It means the boss of Jesus Christ is God. I have to disagree. Well, why? Once again, you're saying that just because it's a head, not head. No, no, no. That's what he says. Verse 23. Yeah? That's where it comes from. You know what? What are you doing? You're not even. You don't even know which. You don't even know. About. Yes, I do know what verse you're talking about. So what does it mean? The head of all man is Jesus Christ. What does it mean? I came back to you and I said, what does it mean? Do you think any part of your body is more valuable than the other? No, that's not what you're talking I told you. It's you different. asked me the Greek meaning. I told you it's different in function. Okay. I tell you what. You read the verse and you tell can me. Can your leg? I told you it's different in function. Are you a Christian? Are you? No, can no. your Can your leg leave you and and Why is the defense? Why are you yeah, you're Look at it. Every time I ask you a question, are you, this? are you that? Are you that? Look, I'm a Muslim. Okay. Are you a Christian? Yeah. I am a Christian. Good. It was so easy. Good. Instead of you asking me a question, for every question you I ask a, you. Now when you okay, now the next no, no, question. No, no. When you read a verse, you need to know what it is Fair if you're making a claim you. about it. It doesn't you. matter if you're Muslim, Christian. If you read it, if I read the Quran, I need to know what I'm talking about. Fair so that's why I'm asking you. Do you know what it means? When it says the head of all men is Christ, what does it mean? Yes, I do. What does it mean? Means he's the head in function. In head in function. function. I just told you. So that not already. in authority. Jesus. I just told you that. Already. Is he in authority or in function? What do you mean by authority? You don't know what authority means. Anti no, no. Verify it. Okay. Authority means someone in charge. Someone who's a boss. For example, when you work in a company and you, your manager is your. It is, that's not in the Bible. If you ask me, me it's a question. Not Let me the, ask. No, no, that's not in the Bible. I just told My you. My friend, I you ask me a question. I just told you that's not in the Bible. You ask me what is authority? Go ahead and kill. Go ahead and say your BS. Why is so? Say your BS. And he seems very insecure. This man. When I ask, look, look, when I ask, when you ask me what does authority mean, 
My friend, no, let's, let's, let's have one discussion. When you ask me what authority means, give me the chance to finish my answer. Finish your answer. Okay, authority means someone who's in charge. For example, okay. when you work in a company, your manager is an authority over you. Do you agree? Okay. Okay. If, are you married? No. Go no. on. Go on. Was that offensive? Just yes. analogy. Just analogy. Really? <laughs> Honestly, why? Go on. Why is it offensive? No, no, go on. Okay, fair enough. Look, I'm married. Okay. okay. According to the Bible, the head of the woman is man. What do you understand by that? Same words, by the way. Okay. What does it mean? What do I understand by that? This is my interpretation. Right. Tell me your interpretation. The man is the head in terms of what function that he does. So let's say if he makes a decision, if he looks out for the family, that's that's being the head in terms of function. It is like, and you say it's a different term. They get that that word head from the literal meaning. Okay. And so that, if I looked at the word, okay, fine, fine. And so that that word saying. A head that goes to the function of whatever it is, the head does. So it doesn't mean authority? No, not necessarily. It so if I looked at the word that. head in the dictionary, and if I see the meaning of that, the synonym of that is authority and not function. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Go I ahead. let you speak. Go, go ahead. ahead. Okay, go ahead. Now if I looked at the word head of X, Y, and Z in the dictionary, do you think the word authority will not appear? It will appear. Okay. Because so, of usage. So this was now what now what you need to do when you look up when you look up verses. Do you bring it up? No, no, 1 Corinthians 11, 3. Not three, just verse 3. Let me tell you. What's helpful when you want to understand the arguments in the Bible and Christianity, there's something called the Strong's Letter Concordance. Yes. Strong's Letter Concordance will show you the original meaning of every word. Why not? Do you want me to bring that up? No, I'm telling you. How about you bring up with the word head? You can't Shall we? And if it agrees with me, what do you say then? If it agrees with you, then I say it's a different interpretation. Then, what, do you mean, what do you mean by function? When, it, when you say the head of all men is Christ, okay. that means Christ has a different function to men. Yes. Isn't that obvious? Yes. Okay. And it means it doesn't mean authority. It can mean authority in different contexts. To me, Finally. you asked me, what does that mean to me? I said that. Does so not in this mean context, to me. it doesn't mean authority. I do not believe it means authority in that, in that context. context. So all three, to me, talks about authority. The head of all men is Christ. Okay. The head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. We'll agree Trust to disagree. Me, all three talk about authority. Now let's we'll let's, agree to let's look at the Strong's concordance okay. to settle this, because you believe that, right? Believe you, you believe in the Strong's concordance. No, I said for you, if you want to make arguments and if you want to understand things, you don't look up dictionary definition, you look up strong concordance. No, but do you agree with the strong's concordance? In some instances, yes. In this instance, will, will you, you do it in this instance? It's not necessarily. Well, I agree, it depends. Oh, it because depends. It depends on what? Are you going to listen? No, you said it I'm depends. saying it clarifies what the, mean, what the word meaning actually is. But will you accept the definition? I don't have to accept anything. I can read it and see what it means. Will you because accept the definition of strong, which you brought up? Because I'm you said do not look at the dictionary, look at the strong's concordance. Of course. So you will not you look at understand. the Will you I accept? I have my own opinion aside from that. Fine. When you look at and read the strong's concordance, will you accept the definition of the word head in this context? When I read it in the context, and if it makes sense, then logically. Why asking you to look at the strong concordance? Or you can make it. If you're going to disagree with it anyway, you okay. can understand. Is it possible that you will disagree with the definition in strong's concordance? There are plenty of times I disagree with definition. Right now, so don't ask me something that you will disagree with. No, no, Show for me something. Clarify. So how for will I? Clarify. I'll tell you what. How will you or I ever clarify. come to? An agreement that this particular word is meaning this and not the other. Because you have it stuck in your head that it means authority. I got it stuck in my head. Yeah. So you don't, you don't, you believe Jesus is co-equal to God. Yes. Really? Yes. What? Now what do you say? I'll tell you. To, I'll point now you. you I'll point you to John 17:3. Okay. Do you know what it says? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, sure, no problem. Go ahead. John, Pull so, it up. Do you remember what it says? Pull it up. Do you know what it says? Pull it up. Go on. No, you don't don't worry. Pull it up. Is that an order? Huh? Is that an order or request? It's an order. Is it an order? Yes. I don't follow orders. I'm your head. <laughs> I'm your head. No, wait a minute. So, I'm your authority, as you say. Oh, uh, good. He agrees finally his authority. <laughs> he didn't realize that, obviously. No, go ahead. Okay, anyway. So you John said, John said, well, it's, it's, a, it's a fact as well. Head means, no, it's not a fact. Head means authority. Or in any context that you look at. No, it does not. It doesn't mean different roles. It does not. By the way, do you know that Jesus is subject to the Father all the time? Where did you say that? Can Jesus speak a word without the Father's consent? Where did you say that? I'll bring it up now. But do you know that? Where did you say that? Where, say what? Where does it say that in the Bible? Where does it say that in the Bible? What did you say? What you just said? That he can't speak by his own permission. You that he needs the Father's permission. No, no, you just said you cannot speak a word without his consent. Go ahead and pull that up. I'll wait. I'll wait. 
No problem. You seem somehow very really defensive about everything. You're defensive, you're making false claims. By the way, even the Holy Spirit, even the Holy Spirit cannot speak of his own. You know? He has to be told what to say, just like Jesus. I'll bring it up. Here it is. Um, Okay, which one you want first, Jesus or the Holy Spirit? Go ahead. Which one you want first? Take your pick. Alright, I'll bring up the Holy Spirit. That when He, the Spirit of Truth, comes, He will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on His own. He will speak only what He hears. Yeah? From the Father. And He will, and he will tell you what is yet to come. So that is about the Holy now, Spirit. What does that have to do with consent? He will not speak of his own. What does it mean? Does that mean consent? What does it mean? Does that mean consent? Yes, in the context of I can make a decision to say this gentleman. I'm not going to speak. John 49. Let me go ahead and finish. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Before, before you understand the meaning of the word consent, you tell me what does the Bible mean when it says he will not speak of his own. What does that mean? That, that he will speak on in accordance to God. That Thank does not you. mean he can always speak in accordance no, no. to God. Speak of his own. He to. Okay, so when he says he will not speak of his own, means what? That he will not speak on his own will. Now, does that mean choice to you? What does it mean? Huh? It's clear here. It says here, look, he not will clear. not speak it's on his own. It's obviously not clear because we're talking about it. No, no, it says he will speak only what he hears. He hears from where? Okay. From where? Okay. He hears from where? That's not the part we're discussing. <laughs> <laughs> what we're discussing right now. You see what I mean? This is what it, it's the same verse, bro. The same verse. Look here. It, it says he will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to Does come. Does it say he will not or cannot speak on his own? Same thing, bro. Semantics. Will and can is the so same. So where does he hear hold from? On, hold on, hold on. Will and can is the same thing. You're asking a Christian. I, I'm asking everybody. <laughs> I'm asking a logical person. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is he less than you because he's a Christian? No, just wait. Just wait. When a Christian, he, no, when you, no, is he less than you because no, he's a Christian? No, when you ask a Christian, you'll be biased, obviously. That's what I meant. But we all have our biases. Is, is, can any Muslim so when he says he will not speak on Time out, time out. Can any Muslim here say there's a difference between can and will? Can and will. Can anybody say there's a difference? Yeah, he will. Is there, there a difference? Is there a difference? Is there a difference? It's choice. Yes, your own Muslims say there's a difference. Okay, what is it you're trying to say? That, that, are you saying that the Holy Spirit spoke of his own and the Bible says he did not speak of his own? Whom do I believe? You or the Bible? What are you even asking? You, who else? No, what are you even asking? I'm asking. When he says yeah, he will not speak. You just only... skipped over my question. Can and will are the same thing. You can't get past I that. I said it's semantics. You can do what you it's want. It's not semantics. Well, that's your problem. That's well, your opinion. If I pull up a dictionary, will you then agree that can and will are different? No, I will not uh, agree can I pull up a, just like the way you... You won't agree. Can yeah. I pull up a dictionary? Yeah, go on. Go on. Pull up a dictionary. Yeah, I mean, and make sure you look at the word head as well. While <laughs> Don't worry. And John, and John 12, 49, 50. It says very clearly, he will only hear... Sorry. He will speak. He will speak only what he hears. Whom does he hear from? You, you just said can and will are the same That's, thing. Uh, John 16. Let me confirm it. Can to be able to to have the ability to make. Yeah, now look let at Will. Now look at Will. Look at Will now. Oh, okay. Let, let, me, yes. let me give him from the Bible. John, from the Bible John 12, 49, 50. For I did not speak of my own. No, that's Jesus. Course. Yes, bro, I'm telling you that. The Father who sent Damn. me. Damn. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. Will. the Holy Spirit first. Will okay. is disposed or willing to. Which one of those says anything about needing consent? Also, oh, willing to. Willing, willing to. to. As in will. Okay, Free so will. what did I say? Disposed. No, no, what did I say? You said consent. He will. No, no, no. You said consent. You... And you said can and will are the but same thing. But just look, look. When he says you yeah, Are can and will the same what, thing? What, what's your... Which one of those says consent? I, I think it's still semantics. Which one of those? I still think it's semantics. Whatever you you won't accept a dictionary no, definition, not. but you criticize me for not accepting one. I accept your biased one. opinion. Because when biased says... opinion is a dictionary. Yeah, but... Now you look want another word... dictionary? Let me pull up Webster, okay? Do you, do you believe in a dictionary? Let me pull up Webster. Why don't you pull up the word head? Let me pull up Webster. Okay, I'll tell you what. No, no, don't go back. We'll go Webster. Because you dictionary. You brought up dictionary when it suits you. Let me bring up the word head and let's see if you But agree. you accept dictionary wait, definitions, wait, wait. I don't. So you, oh, you still don't won't accept this one. Wait, why don't you? You still why, why don't you? you? Okay, don't change the subject. Uh, you won't accept you this. See what he's doing? He wants me to accept the dictionary definition, oh, but he will not. You said this I will accept the dictionary No, You said I will accept the dictionary okay, definition. Okay, fine, I'll tell you what. Will you accept the Bible? Forget the dictionary. No, 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 don't forget the dictionary, that is you lost. Oh, I lost. Oh, oh you want brownie points. I said the same thing. Are you American by any chance? No. No, you're not. No. I thought you you love brownie points. The same okay. Thing. For me, yeah. in this context, yes. Why? Is that because, because, because I said so. Because, okay. Happy? Alright. Good to meet you. Okay. Oh, you're running away? 
I'm running away because you can't accept the simple thing. But you thing. can't accept the fact that he says. You're in second grade he logic if you think Canada will the same thing. Uh, what do you hear? Second grade. You know why? You're running away? Because you cannot deal. Come on, debate with him. You don't run away. I can't debate with something that's wrong. You yourself said you're not accepting the dictionary. You can't accept the dictionary. Do I not have the choice? A second grader can accept Canada will are different. Do I not have a choice? You said I'm biased. Other Muslims are saying there's a difference between Canada will and you can't get Okay, by the way, you're running away? Jason, do you want to discuss that? Pull out another verse. Because Christian here is afraid to discuss. Oh, yeah. Most I'm afraid because you can't you accept the dictionary definition. You can accept the Bible. Over here, over here he says, the Bible. The Bible Are you afraid of your own book, my brother? He's afraid of the dictionary. Oh, the, the okay, you don't know what's going on. Go home. Man. Guy, 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 he just got here. He doesn't want to discuss his choice. He knows he's afraid.